Good morning. How are you? It's so nice to have you here with me today. Good morning. How are you? How do you how do you do? Hello, good day. Now that we're together, learning so much fun. The more of us, the better. So come on, everyone. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, children. How are you today? I'm Miss Rubina, and welcome to my classroom. Let's begin with circle time. Let's start with the days of the week. Days of the week: Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now say along with me: Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well done. Now tell me what day is it today? Yesterday was Monday, so today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday. Now let's see the letter of the week. Letter of the week is letter C. This is uppercase letter C. This is lowercase letter C. Letter C makes the sound K. Letter C makes the sound K. Now let's see the number of the week. Number of the week is number three. Number of the week is number three. Now show me your three fingers. One, two, three. That's right. Now let's see the sight word. Sight word is am. Sight word is am. Am is used with I. Now let's see the color of the week. Color of the week is blue. Color of the week is blue. Blue is a primary color along with red and yellow. Now let's see the pictures. Blue scooter, blue clock, blue bird, blue cap, blue whale, blue umbrella, blue cloud, blue crayon. Now say along with me. Blue scooter, blue clock, blue bird, blue cap, blue whale, blue umbrella, Blue cloud, blue crayon. Now let's see the shape of the week. Shape of the week is triangle. A triangle is a three-sided shape. It has three sides and three corners. Now let's see the pictures. Triangle shaped sandwich, triangle shaped pizza slice, triangle shaped flag, triangle shaped hanger, triangle shaped tortilla chips, triangle shaped watermelon slice. Now say along with me. Triangle shaped sandwich, triangle shaped pizza slice, triangle shaped flag, triangle shaped hanger, triangle shaped tortilla chips, triangle shaped watermelon slice. Well done. Now it's time to learn the sound of letters A, B, C, D. Let's begin. This is uppercase letter A. This is lowercase letter A. Letter A makes a sound. A. Letter A makes the sound A. Repeat after me. Letter A makes the sound A. This is uppercase letter B. This is lowercase letter B. Letter B makes the sound B. Letter B makes the sound B. Repeat after me. B. This is uppercase letter C. This is lowercase letter C. Letter C makes the sound K. Letter C makes the sound K. This is uppercase letter D. This is lowercase letter D. Letter D makes the sound D. Letter D makes the sound D. Repeat after me. D. Well done. Now it's time to count 1 to 10. Let's begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now say along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. So children, today is Tuesday and on Tuesdays we learn about a new number. Today we are going to learn all about number three. Let's go. So now it's time to learn all about number three. 
the formation of number three is half around and half around. Half around and half around makes the figure of three. So when we write number three, we make a curved line and then we make one more curved line. Now let's count the ice creams. One, two, three, three ice creams. Now let's count the birds. One, two, three, three birds. Now let's count the stars. One, two, three, three stars. Now let's count the owls. One, two, three, three owls. Now let's count the nails. One, two, three, three nails. Well done. Three ice creams, three birds, three stars, three owls, three nails. Now it's time to count the beads. So there is a string. Let's count how many beads are there in the string. One, two, three. There are three beads in the string. How many beads are there in the string? One, two, three. There are three beads in the string. Now it's time to color the petals. There's a flower with many petals and we just have to color three petals. Let's begin. I'm using my red color to color the petals. It's done. Now let's count how many petals I've colored. One, two, three. It's correct. Now it's time to do a worksheet. We have to count and match. We have to count the objects and match with the correct number. Let's begin. Now let's count the balloons. One, two. Is this number two? No, this is number one. Is this number two? Yes, this is number two. So we will match the balloons, we will draw a line and match the balloons with number two. Now let's count the flowers. One, two, three. How many flowers? Three flowers. Is this number three? No, this is number one. Is this number three? No, this is number two. Is this number three? Yes, this is number three. So we are going to match three flowers with number three. Now let's count the butterfly. How many butterflies? There's just one butterfly. Now where is number one? It's right here. Let's match the butterfly with number one. It's done. Two balloons, three flowers, one butterfly. Now it's time to write number three. Before that, we are going to trace number three. First, we make a curve line and then we make one more curve line. Half around and half around makes the figure of three. Now it's time to write number three. I want you to quickly grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a slate and a piece of chalk and write along with me. Half around and half around make the figure of three. Half around and half around make the figure of three. Half around and half around make the figure of three. Half around and half around make the figure of three. Half around and half around make the figure of three. Half around and half around make the figure of three. It's done. I hope you liked today's video and learned all about number 3. See you tomorrow with a new video. Until then, goodbye.